In this video, I will show you several tricks for selecting text in Microsoft Word. Let's get started. So here I am in a document about some fantasy authors, and I would like to highlight some text so that I can format it or delete it or move it, whatever it might be. I think most people know that you can click and drag to highlight a block of text, and then of course we could change the text color or the font size or whatever it might be. And that works just fine, but there actually are some faster, more convenient ways to select blocks of text. In many software programs, including Microsoft Word, if you want to select one word, all you have to do is double click on it, and it becomes highlighted. Double click and the word is highlighted. Another trick that is not specific just to Microsoft Word is you can also triple click. So if I triple click on the word pioneering, for example, it highlights the entire paragraph of my document. If I triple click on Hickman in this case, it highlights that entire paragraph. So definitely try double clicking to select a word and triple clicking to select a paragraph or a section. Now beyond those tricks, there are some additional tricks that are specific just to Microsoft Word. Let's take a look at those. So what if I want to select this specific sentence in this document? I could, of course, click and drag to select it, but in Microsoft Word, there's a better way to do it. I can hold the control key and click anywhere in that sentence, and the entire sentence becomes highlighted and selected. Now, of course, I can format that text any way that I want to. So this is a great way to select a specific sentence that's embedded anywhere in your document. Now, what if you would like to keep your hands on the keyboard? In most cases, that's the most efficient and effective way to use Microsoft Word. Keep your hands on the keyboard. You're typing up a novel or a paper or an essay. You don't want to have to keep taking your hands off the keyboard to use the mouse. So if that's the case, you don't want to use the mouse, what could you do? The first trick for this that I could share is tap F8 on your keyboard. Once you've done that, you can use the arrow keys, either the left arrow or the right arrow key, to move the cursor left or right, and that will extend the selection that you've made. I'm going to tap Escape and then click Away, and that's deactivated the F8 selection. Now another F8 trick is if you click on a word and then tap F8 twice, look what it does. Microsoft Word will select whatever word your cursor is inside of. And from there, if you want to, you can expand the selection using the arrow keys to the right or to the left. If you press F8 again, the entire sentence will become selected. Press F8 yet again to select the whole paragraph and press it again to select an entire section. Now that's if you're using sections. If you don't have sections, it just may select the entire document. If you do have sections and you do want to select the entire document, press F8 yet one more time and now the entire document will be selected. Now I do have one other tip or trick for selecting text in Microsoft Word. So I'll tap Escape and then click away from my highlighted area to get back out of the F8 selection tool. This last tip may not be quite as fancy, but it's very helpful if you don't mind using the mouse. And that is, if you click somewhere in your document and then hold the Shift key, you can then click where you want your selection to end, and that exact block of text will be selected, will be highlighted. So this method of click, shift, and click is a great way to highlight a very specific chunk of text in Microsoft Word. So I hope that these text selection tricks for Microsoft Word will help you to be more effective as you use Microsoft Word and will help make it more enjoyable. If this video has made you curious about some of these authors, these were some authors I read as a teenager that uh, are near and dear to my heart. In fact, the Tracy Hickman and Margaret Weiss references, I should have included what I think is their greatest work, which is the Death Gate Cycle. But if you're curious or interested in learning more about these authors and their work, look in the description below the video. But in the meantime, I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell, and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that by clicking the Thanks button below the video. You can also support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll find information about those options in the description below the video. 
Speaking of Patreon, I need to say thank you to my $5 Patreon supporters. You're amazing. Thank you so much for all you do. 